JetGPT is an incredibly handy tool to answer all your questions, for example, about building with Superbase. But JetGPT doesn't always have the entire context it needs. And so this is where JetGPT plugins come in. So you as a developer can actually expose certain context that JetGPT might need to answer the user's questions. Now, um, what we want to do today is actually build a little to-do list plugin with Dino, obviously, where at GH functions. Um, so this is what this looks like. It's just a, a simple to-do um, list. And so what we then can do is we can ask, um, are there, there any open to-dos for the global user? So uh, in the future, we can add uh, user authentication with Superbase Auth for this as well. But for now, um, we don't have that. And so, yes, basically what this now does is, you know, ChatGPT obviously doesn't know, but it knows through our um, uh, plugin uh, manifest and our open API spec that it can ask um, the username to the to-do um, endpoint and check for the to-dos. So what GPT actually does is it goes off and makes a request to our API uh, based on the plugin manifest. Um, so here, taking the username global, and then it gets back, yes, there is um, some to-dos, in this case, it's one, um, and the to-do is to test this plugins. Um, and I mean, there are other things we can do. How many to-dos does the global user have? Um, which ob obviously then it can just count, um, has one to do. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously if there's multiple to do's, we can ask some more, uh, questions and kind of select the right thing. But this is incredibly powerful. If you think about, um, you know, you have a user, uh, certain information, um, and so with Superbase auth in the future, you can actually lock them in with, for example, you know, GitHub auth, OAuth, and then actually uh, return information that is relevant to the user with, you know, RLS policies and have that. So it basically becomes this entire new interface um, for your application, which is really, really cool. So how do we do this? Um, if we check in the documentation, um, we can uh, kind of jump in there and sort of read through all of this. Um, but what I always love to do is just jump into um, the example section and here we can learn how to build a simple to-do list plugin with no auth. So that's where we're just going to start here. And so there's a couple things um, specifically is that we will need to um, expose this AI plugin JSON at um, the root path of our uh, domain with dot well known slash AI plugin dot JSON. I think if we're well, yeah. So you can see here, um, you know, all the uh, open AI docs examples are in uh, Python. You know, obviously we love TypeScript here on edgy edge functions. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to build this in TypeScript and run it on Dino. Um, so yes, we have a couple specific things here and, and you know, one of them is specifically, we need to, um, have this well-known AI plugin, um, JSON and we need, um, an open API specification. So that way we're basically exposing which, uh, endpoints of our API we want to, um, expose to chat GPT by kind of defining them in our open, open API spec. Uh, and so in our manifest, we um, point at our API. So we say type uh, open API, and then we can point at our um, op open API specification. Okay, great. Now, um, there's a couple specific um, requirements. As I mentioned, we um, need to host kind of this well-known um, URL at the root of our domain. And so to give us a bit more flexibility over our entire domain and kind of control that, we are going to use um, self, the self-hosted Superbase Edge runtime. Um, so that's a Dino runtime. It's open source, uh, just at the last uh, launch week seven. Uh, you can look at the video. Um, I'm going to link it at the top. 
And so we can actually take this um, demo here. So we can clone this demo, we can say git clone um, this one here. And then we can go into our self hosted edge functions demo. And let's open this up. Now I personally like to use um, VS code. And for um, VS code, there is a, a Dino extension um, that we can install. And when we have that installed, then in order for um, this to recognize our Dino code base, so you can see here now in this case, um, it is complaining, what we can do is we can do uh, command shift P and then do this um, Dino initialize workspace configuration. Uh, yes, we want linting, we want unstable APIs. And so now we're just getting this um, settings JSON in our project. Uh, and so now we're um, good to go here. So basically, we have this kind of main function, which is sort of our main server, um, which then spins up the different um, edge runtime workers here. Um, so this is how you build kind of your own runtime with um, Dino. Uh, spin up the different workers for um, the different functions. So for example, here we have an uh, oak. So oak is like a, a simple routing library um, with Dino. And so what we can now do is we can look into um, the readme, uh, we can do this um, locally. So there's a Docker um, compose file in here that we can look at. Um, and what is just what we're doing here is basically we're um, binding kind of the volume of our uh, functions repository, pointing that as a specific target, and then we're uh, mapping the port. So the runtime is um, in Docker listening on port 9000. And then we're mapping that to port 8000. And so now if we go back to the readme, um, we can do our Docker compose um, up, uh, and we want to build this. Uh, and so now uh, we're actually streaming the, the function logs here from the edge rhyme. So uh, edge runtime, so the main function has um, started here, main function started. And so what we now can do is we can go to our um, localhost slash oak. Um, and then what this does, so in the beginning, it needs to download kind of a bunch of dependencies because there's no build step, it actually pulls that in uh, kind of at the first um, runtime. Uh, and so this is an example of uh, an Oak server running on uh, edge functions. Um, lovely. And so you can see here index. Yeah, so this is an example of Oak server running on edge functions. And then actually, what we can do is like Oak. Um, so we can have basically some sub um, routing here, Oak slash redirect. So this is kind of what we'll use later to um, build our different uh, API um, endpoints, like our to do to do endpoint. So you remember, one of the requirements was to serve this AI plugin um, JSON file. Uh, and so let's actually copy this here. And so this is um, not a function, uh, really, it's just kind of um, basically a static file being served. Now, the thing is that we don't um, within the edge runtime, mainly kind of a security um, measure for now, is that we actually can't host any uh, static files. However, what we can do, um, yeah, to do plugin, no auth, uh, and then the plugin host name here. So you remember in our case, we had, uh, to do localhost, where are we here? Yeah. Um, localhost 8000. And so we're just going to replace that with localhost 8000. Uh, one thing as well, we can't host any um, YAML files against static files here, but we can serve JSON. Um, and the nice thing is actually, we don't need this to be YAML. Um, we can actually have it be uh, JSON. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to use Dino as well to generate our open API. Oop. Open API reference because you know, who wants to write um, a file like that. 
Um, there we are. Yeah, so in terms of the logo file, uh, we wouldn't be able to serve it from uh, within the edge runtime here, but you know, we could um, likely use some, you know, superbase storage, for example, um, put, a, put a file in there uh, and see if that works. What we need to do is, um, so here we're kind of doing um, the server, we're checking um, path, kind of service name. So this is basically um, the path um, here. So for example, Oak uh, would be the service name. And then that, that is what being uh, used to kind of find our functions and basically spin up the worker. Uh, and we can actually specify some um, limits here for our function. So we kind of have, we have full control over our um, runtime here. But so what we're just gonna do now is basically in here, we want to uh, handle our well-known. So this is um, handle uh, slash well known AI hyphen plugin dot JSON. Um, so what we can say is if the service name, if the service name, uh, so if that equals um, dot well known, uh, then we want to return um, our JSON uh, response. We need to get our. Uh, we need to import our AI plugin uh, plugins dot JSON. Uh, and so in Dino, we can actually Dino import JSON file. Um, I always forget the syntax for this, but it's um, yes, it's basically this one. So import, and we'll just say AI plugin um, from, in our case, it is uh, slash plugins.json, JSON, uh, and then assert as type um, JSON. And so we can do, maybe let's just call it AI plugins. And then what we can do is we can just return a new um, response. Maybe we we'll just copy this one out here. Um, so we return a new uh, response. New response will JSON stringify um, our AI plugins. Uh, status 200, uh, which is the default status and content type application. JSON. So if we make changes to the main function, um, we need to kill our uh, container and then rebuild it. Uh, there we go. So right now we're just, um, for any well-known, we're just serving the AI plugin um, JSON. So localhost dot well, known AI plugin.json. There we are. Uh, and so now we're getting our um, manifest file uh, served here. We'll do a new folder. We'll say scripts. Uh, and then in scripts, we'll say new file generate um, open API spec TypeScript. And so in our case, we'll be in functions. And then we'll say chat GPT hyphen plugin. Uh, and then we'll say index dot TS. So that's where um, our API will be in. And then for the Output, let's actually write the output to uh, functions, chat GPT plugin as well. Here, function open API, uh, JSON, lovely. Uh, okay, and so now we're just, uh, this is our script, it's quite neat, quite small. And so now we just need to uh, create our chat GPT plugin. And as I mentioned, um, we'll be using Oak anyway, so we can just say uh, JetGPT 
hyphen plugin. There we go. Okay. Um, and then what we need, let's actually look into uh, our main.ts here. Um, so here is basically where we have our to do's. Now, obviously, we can make a request to the Superbase API uh, here. We can get data from, you know, KV, uh, from Superbase, from what have you. So that's quite, um, quite neat indeed. Uh, so test this plugin. Let's actually create some more um, tasks for me. And we'll just say one. Well, first of all, um, I need to edit the video. I need to release the uh, repository. And then lastly, I need to schedule a tweet. Or uh, maybe also write a blog post. We'll see about that. Lovely. Um, okay, so we have that. So here, basically, we're just accessing some data store, so to speak. And then this is what um, our JS doc is. So we're doing an at open API. And then we'll specify kind of a component. So this is sort of the structure. Um, get to do response, uh, object properties. Uh, so basically, we're annotating um, kind of our method here. So this is um, sort of the schema kind of general um, format. And then for our um, methods, and so in our case, we'll actually have this as um, chat GPT plugin. So this needs to be our base route chat GPT plug in is our base route. There we are. Uh, building chat GPT plugins with Dino. And then here we will need um, the uh, so basically this make this chat GPT plugin slash to do slash username. Uh, same here, chat GPT plugin to do username. And then we're just writing our logic, um, basically. Um, yeah. And then lastly, we need to uh, serve our open API JSON file. So this is ChatGPT plugin, and I would just say um, open API dot JSON. So this one we don't need to uh, annotate in the open API spec itself because it's in the in the in the manifest. Um, and then what we do is uh, again we can import uh, basically the same as we did in here but we will import our, we'll call it open um, API. This will be open API. Open API JSON. Um, it doesn't exist yet because we still need to generate it. But then what we can do is here we'll say context dot response dot um, body will be JSON dot stringify of the open API spec. And then we'll also need to set the context uh, response dot headers, uh, specifically the content type header, which will be uh, application JSON. Great. So let's put in the readme a section of um, generate open API spec. And we can look in um, in here. So we need to Dino run of our scripts. Uh, in 
our terminal. So dinaran, allow read, allow write scripts, and we've called it generate hive instead of underscores. There we are. So let's run that. And now we can see whoop, we have our open API JSON uh, generated with our sort of info title description things, um, what have you. Yeah. So the things that we need for uh, GPT to understand our uh, API. And so now if we go back to the index here, yep. Now it knows. And then let's see. So I think we're good. We're all good here. Um, and so now uh, one thing, yes, in our A plugin, so the API, open API, so this is now a chat GPT hyphen plugin slash open API. JSON, okay, let's rebuild our Docker. Uh, there we are, and so now let's actually make sure we're getting our downloading a bunch of dependencies here now. And yes, we're getting our open API. Okay, so now we should be ready. And we actually have our API um, in there as well. So if we go uh, instead of this, if we go chat GPT plugin uh, to do's slash Thor, uh, I guess we, yeah we get our to do's lovely. Um, okay, so now let's find our manifest file. Mm, ah, yes, who, who sees what else we're missing? Uh, we're missing our headers, right? So in order for this to fetch um, our content type, we need to set all, um, all these headers. So this is our course headers again. So we'll need to import uh, from where are we shared shared course, we need to import our course headers. And then we need to return them all here. So what we can actually do is we can say for if we say key in course headers. So that way we can step through kind of all the items um, in our course headers. And then what we can do is we can set our course headers with the key and the course headers key. Now the thing is it complains here because it needs the key to be kind of of, of these specific key types. Um, so what we can do is actually we can say let key uh, and we can type the key as um, key of type of course headers. Um, and so this way, we have the key of the type of the course headers. Yeah, sometimes TypeScript is a bit of a bit of a mouthful. But so now, if we go back, if we um, reload our API.json, we can just quickly verify network all refresh. And so now, yeah, we have our headers in here. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, third time's a jam. Let's see if we can uh, plug in store, develop your own localhost 8000, find manifest. And we're still failing to fetch.
Uh, I think we still actually, yes, we need the headers on kind of all of the um, applications. Let me check back in here how I did that. I don't always remember everything. Um, yes, I think this is here. ChatGPT specific course headers. So we can actually put them under the application. So we can set them for all of our responses. So let's take this out. Uh, and rather set this here. Uh, and then just call it CTX. Okay. So I believe now we should finally, yes. Okay. There we are. So we have our validated manifest. So you can see, um, it is fetching it here. Um, it is then fetching our open API spec here. And so now we can install the local host, um, plugin. Let me um, remove the hosted one for now. And we have our localhost plugin. And so now we can see, okay, let's see how many to do's does Thor have. And so now we can see we're making a request to our plugin. Uh, and we see Thor has four to do's and it's actually nicely writing them out. Um, and then, Ooh, maybe we can see what's the, the best order for Thor's to, to do's. Let's see. I mean, I think I probably will need to, Various factors. Yes. Deadline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, oh, all right. I like it. Uh, after writing, write a blog. Yeah. Although I probably will do at least the schedule a tweet. That is true. Scheduling the tweet will be the last one. Well, there we go. I mean, this is, this is pretty, pretty mind blowing stuff, isn't it? Um, okay. So now we tested our plug in locally. Uh, let's actually go ahead and deploy this to fly. Um, so with fly, we can have full control over our um, Dino edge runtime. And the way we can do this, actually, if we dig back into um, the readme, deploy to fly.io. So we clone the repository. Um, we have written our edge functions. We've modified our um, main function. Um, open the fly.toml file. Um, there we are. We're going to call this super chat GPT plugin Dino demo. It's a mouthful, I know. Um, and let's copy that name because we'll need to, the rest we can leave. Those are like good defaults for, um, the edge runtime. And then what we need is we need, um, the fly CLI. Uh, if you don't have that, you can, um, Google how to install the fly CLI. We'll need to say fly apps create, and we will need to, um, Call it Super Chat GPT plug in um, Dino demo. Um, that's it. And then we can say fly deploy. Let's see. And so now um, using our Docker file, we are building. Uh, there we are. We have our machine up and running and what we can say is fly open to open our, um, yes, very good. And then chat GPT hyphen plugin. Let's see if we have to do 
to do's for Thor. And this is kind of the first time we're starting this up. Yep, there we are, we have our to do's. So now this is our domain. And now let's go ahead and install our plugin. So now we are going to say plugin store, develop your own plugin. Uh, now, obviously, one thing I forgot, and this will now errors in manifest. Yes, because we still have our localhost in there. Ah, that is a shame. So let's see where we have HTTP localhost 8000. Um, yeah, so we have it in here and so we'll need to change that to our plugin sweet now uh, once we've made changes we can say fly deploy um, should be a bit quicker now okay open uh, and so this time, let's actually uh, go dot well known AI plugin dot chase on. Uh, and so now, yes, we should be pointing to our correct open API dot JSON. And so now that should, uh, yep, all be working. So let's try that again. Refetch manifest. There we are, we're validated, everything is working. We can install it for me. And so let's, uh, I think, I believe this was the local host one. And we can say, what's Thor's second to do? Anyone remember? Ah, no, what? That's not good. Oh, interesting. We have, uh, oh, now I don't know why it would capitalize uh, the name there. <laughs> but that's a good, good um, Thor have any to do's. Let's try this again. Really no idea why I would capitalize it. But um, still use lower case for all usernames. And try again. Let's see if that works. Aha. Release the repository. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm um, going to clean this up, wrap this up. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, if there's any more things you want to learn about Dino, go here to the Edgy Edge Functions playlist and see you soon. Bye-bye.